My name is Antia Comellini and I come from Italy. So I've always been fascinated since I was a child from uh, flight and eventually space flight. And uh, this has been something that was uh, quite uh, irrational. I cannot explain why it was a uh, uh, flight and not something else. Uh, but then uh, my life choices bring me close to space because I enrolled, uh, when I was 19, the uh, uh, University for Aerospace Engineering. And by knowing this domain, I really was able to understand that this was the right place for me. And uh, day by day, I, uh, um, the desire to contribute to it uh, grew inside me. And this is why I eventually ended up uh, applying for this position. So I grew up in Chiari, a small town in northern Italy, and uh, I uh, enrolled uh, the uh, Politecnico di Milano for the space engineer program when I was 19. Uh, then, uh, since I was fascinated by space, I continued with the master in space engineering, and I was uh, I also had the possibility to do an exchange, a double degree program in uh, France uh, in Toulouse at uh, uh, Isai Supero. And thanks to this, uh, I uh, uh, had the possibility to do an internship uh, uh, in Thales Salinia Space in Cannes, uh, where I was offered to continue doing a PhD on the subject of uh, autonomous rendezvous for, auto for uh, spacecraft, which is quite a trend topic at the moment. And uh, two years ago, I wanted to give myself uh, another challenge, so I decided to uh, uh, apply for a position as a flight dynamics engineer. Uh, so I ended up in Darmstadt uh, at ESOC, the European Space Operations Center, where I worked on interplanetary missions. It was very fun. And uh, I just recently came back uh, in Cannes at Thales Salinia Space to work as a guidance, navigation and control engineer. I've always been uh, very active in sport since I was a child, and my favorite sport and that I have practiced with quite a fair level uh, has been orienteering, which is uh, uh, quite a not common sport, but uh, very nice, uh, and everybody should try it. It was uh, more a, a relief, <laughs> because uh, this was a very long process, and uh, it, uh, we didn't receive the notification just the day after applying, but it was a process in which we were first passing the screening, then passing the psychometric testing, then passing the psychological testing, then the medical, then the panel. So you get closer and closer to your dream, and when you finally receive the last call that you are invited to Paris, it's more a sense of relief, like, okay, <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> I see myself uh, trying to give the maximum contribute that I can give to space in Europe. That the, the, this is really the motive that also pushed me to apply to this position, but even before to be a space engineer. And um, as for uh, whether I will be the most exciting to, me, to see myself, uh, uh, this is the future that is going to tell, whether it is going to be the ISS or other commercial station or eventually the moon, I don't know, but for me what is important is to know that I am really contributing to this big community that is space in Europe. My message, uh, which is very subjective, it's uh, close up to my experience, is that you don't necessarily have to dream about becoming an astronaut. What you have to do is really um, to take step by step and work hard and try to um, focus on long-term goals, uh, even if they are not uh, well-defined, but just trying to give the future yourself uh, the best uh, possibility. And this can be done by working today. So just uh, dream big and try to find your place uh, in the world.